Well, when you were at work today, did you go online to check sports scores, pair, or do a little shopping? A lot of companies are cracking down. In tonight's Workweek Report, 9 News investigator Deborah Sherman talks with experts who say that companies have the legal right to monitor everything you do on their computers. 10, 5, touchdown! With every tackle and touchdown, DIA employees playing fantasy football tried to log onto airport computers 30,000 times in one day, overwhelming the internet firewall. They're not alone. I had one case where the employee was actually using the computer at work to look for new jobs. No matter the business, studies show 85% of workers recreational surf on company time. 70% exchange personal or inappropriate emails, wasting two hours a day. You just kind of sit back and hope that nobody else sees it or finds out about it or you don't get in trouble about it. But attorney Bradley Sheffrin says companies have disciplined, even fired employees over one personal email. Some employees use programs like Ghostzilla that pop up fake work documents whenever their bosses walk by. But that's not fooling many companies that are now so concerned about cyber slackers, they're using spyware to track every keystroke and website you visit. In the workplace, we should always be thinking that this is not my home computer, and I need to be cautious. It's not yours, so don't treat it like it's yours. In emails, you should also be careful what you say. According to the etiquette expert, the crabby office lady. You have to show a certain modicum of respect if you want to be respected also. Anik Stahl is the person behind the crabby office lady character and a Microsoft Office help expert. She receives several hundred emails a month from all over the world with questions like, should I type in all caps? It's like shouting. It's like having somebody right in your face shouting at you. It's rude. Another no-no at work. Smiley faces, pretty stationary, and hard to read fonts. And Anik says, don't be a cyber coward by forwarding jokes and rumors. Well, if you've got something to say to me that's really personal, sad, tragic, if you're really angry, if it's gossip, don't do it in email. Walk down the hall and tell me. Talk to people in person. That not only prevents your emails from being misinterpreted, but it could also keep you out of trouble from misusing the computer at work. Deborah Sherman, 9 News. Survey USA asked 330 adults in the Denver area about their internet habits at work. 19% said their company limits internet time. 49% said they have access whenever. The remaining 32% said they're not allowed or simply don't use the internet at work. Wouldn't admit to it anyway. For more tips on email etiquette, just log on at inews.com and you can look for the link to Microsoft's Krabby Office Lady on the business page. What a great name, Krabby wow. Office Lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, then.